so another juicy reading another juicy reading we got today one two three four and five for the gossip about you remember to like and subscribe if you want a personal reading you can email me for a personal reading my email is down in the description just click on it email me just say say questions like one that two that three that four that you don't need to write me an essay and ask about how to do the reading just send me an email i'm gonna send you the request and you can go check my other channels chill with Ella and down with the music if you want to and just like a subscribe come on people choose one one two three four and five what's the gossip about you what people gossip about you? what's the update in the gossip department like you want to know what people are gossiping new rumors and new gossip let's just update you on that Number one here, nobody gossip about you because they feel like they're scared or somehow, somehow intimidated by you right now. A lot of admirers you have. Believe it or not, number one, you have an admirer. I feel like you used to have a lot of shitty people who gossip about you all the time. Maybe you cut a lot of people recently or like in a few, like in, like in a few months something gonna happen also to you. Maybe you cut people, like you cut a few people. I feel I'm here, um, family members, or like you stayed away or something like that. Are you like trying to keep your bees? Like you're trying to not talk much or something like that? It work that you don't have a lot of like haters or stuff like that. Gossip, I feel like you have admirers, you have secret admirers, and you have people who are intimidated by you to say shit. They're almost like they're scared to say shit about you because they know that you're gonna fuck them, the, you're gonna fuck them in the anus or you're gonna do something to them, you're gonna fuck them up. So a lot of people are scared and intimidated. There's some people talking about your sex life. It's not your, their business to talk about your sex life. They talk about how you're sexy or you're talking or a lot of men are interested in you. It's almost like you don't know or a lot of women are interested in you sexually. Maybe at work or someplace that you walk in and someone's saying that like a lot of people are crushing on you at work. Someone's saying like a lot of people are crushing on you or a lot of people want to fuck you or something like that. A lot of people seeing you as sexy or like dame. Somehow, somehow they say it in a positive way like you're lucky or you're lucky that you're getting a lot of attention or you're getting someone really famous at work or popular at school or someplace or someone like really hot get, like you're getting that person attention or you walk someplace and like whoa you got that person attention or this person really like you like you like you so much and you're lucky because they want that person and this person could be a fuck boy and you're like well, fuck about this person or your fuck girl or something like that and this person got hoes or got a side shit and this person you called this person and this person was like answering the phone for something very specific i'm hearing uh, or something or people knew that this person with you they're like damn i wish that this person give me face or something like that uh, but they don't know who this person is really truly and this is your fuck boy or something or a fuck girl Somehow they don't know about this person, like, truly. But people think that this person is, like, not showing a full face toward those people. Or uh, flirting around, people thinking this person is really a catch or something like that. But to you, you don't think that this person is a catch or this person chasing you right now. Could have just person done something or you dated this person for a while, time like, time ago. And they decided to not date this person or this is an ex or something like that. They're talking about that. So general reason could be anything. Also, people talking about how your shoes are always banging and fresh. Or your nails or something like you always wear. A specific something. It's not all your outfit. Your outfit's looking good. Maybe you're wearing, like, a lot of casual things to wear or uniforms or suit or something like that but they're more specifically about your nails jewelry or shoes or hair or something like that you wear is always fresh and banging i would like you have some people like comparing you to that kid and actually saying saying that to that kid that you are a good example or taking things that you did like in front of them to tell their kids about you like i have this person that just could be like an adult or someone like that comparing you to their kids or something like that telling the kids that about you or saying how you taught them this and you showed them that or how they learned something from you they applying it to their kids or something like that you have that what gossip also we hearing about you here someone about like saying about you that you you like kiss stingy with your feelings somehow someone saying that you don't show feelings or you don't show feelings or empathy or something like that toward them or you don't show love it could be someone that you block or you're like not showing emotion anymore to that person and this person is gossiping about you not showing emotion anymore to them people i cannot read like in the chat right now because it's small honestly so i'll just leave a comment later after I finished the reading. Uh, I feel like someone say that it's stingy, something like that, about your emotion and you're not showing a lot of emotion or something like that. Someone saying that you are an empath or you literally can't read their mind or they felt like they're reading their mind. Also, they feel like every time you're around them, they literally feel like they want to piss or they shit their bounds because they literally can read their mind. It's almost like whatever bullshit that they say that you can see or you can read or you can, they, you, they're very predictable to you or something like that. They feel like they don't understand why, how they feel like you know shit. I feel like that. Someone is talking about how 
you are a slut are they yeah here comes the drama i'm not talking about you're a slut or something like that and they do not never 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 want you to marry their son or be with son it could be like someone that you date a mother or a father or something like that or saying that you're not a person that someone want to marry or something like that okay number two like there's a lot of things but we're just gonna be like not so detailed if you want a personal reading email me for a personal reading number two what's the gossip about you i say you look sick or you look tired or you look exhausted like something about you sick or it could have just been sick lately and people saying that you've been sick or something like that about you or maybe you didn't go to work or something like that people say how you're so beautiful or so handsome or you have some youthful kind of look or your skin is very youthful or glowing or lately your skin is glowing or you could be like younger than those people they're talking about you someplace are they saying how you glowing how you look fancy or you look good or you look very beautiful or something about your skin very pure or very youthful also people saying that you're the opposite than someone what someone said but you could like some things about someone's was said what this person said about you could be true so they're not saying totally that this person was wrong for saying shit about you basically they're like half of it is true half of it is not so they're like in middle of it they still like thinking about if it's like the rumors that they heard about you is true or not true they're like in the like two minds about it like they're still in two minds about it they didn't decide i feel like you have some People gossiping about how you're so wise when it comes to fitness, to health, or something, or body fit, or something like that. Also, you have someone who cannot breathe whenever you're around them. They say they have a big crush, a big love towards you, and they want you so bad. They want to get you pregnant, or they want to have a baby with you, or they want to be pregnant by you, something like that. Or they, in general, want to have an adopted baby if you're, like, two gender, same gender. They just want to have a baby or a family with you. Someone's talking seriously about marrying you, or something like that, to their friend, or they want to be with you. I feel like this person talking really massively like uh, I really want to be with this person They kind of address an emotion they never addressed before to their friend Like they're almost exploding with their emotion and they're talking about you this way I don't feel like anything more like new here Number three, what's the gossip about you? Number three, I feel like a lot of people gossip about you. A lot of shit, a lot of shit. They say something about, it's almost like a lot of people are in your business. Number three, literally there's a lot of people in your business. Maybe your business is in public or something like that. Or you're in the public eye or something like that. People ha feel like they're, they feel like they have the right to talk about your life or about their opinion and like, like arguing about your life like it's their opinion like it's a topic to talk about like uh but if he did that but if she did that i think that this is best for them i think this is the best for them i have like people just not like so unti like not entitled so entitled to talk about your business like that i feel like you need to put boundaries like i'm one one point like this shit happened to me like when i came back here and home and a lot of people be talking about my business and my mom and my mom's abusive they were like talking about me like that i had to scream at everybody i'd be like like when they asked me like what the fuck why are you talking about my life i put boundaries and now everybody scared and intimidated from talking about my life like just like they talking about it and they asked me why but i was like why you don't get out you don't have a fucking life so they all got scared from my reaction they thought it's just a simple question i said you don't have a fucking life this is not your fucking business mind your shit and i just pointed a lot of shit on their fucking life so it was so intense roasting and in their fucking face that they had to fucking stop minding start uh, starting to mind their own business so something like that you need to put boundaries i feel like a lot of people are literally in your fucking business like they're talking about serious things that happened between you and your family something that happened to you in the past your relationship your life they th talking about it like it's their business it's kind of irritating me like they're talking about like something about your relationship relationship also for some of you or some kind of relationship or an ex talking about you like to the, maybe you have an ex who talks a lot or doing a lot of shit or something like that going to talk to their friend or family or everybody and everybody discussing you with their ex or something like that like it's their business like yeah this person i feel like that and your ex is just like putting all your business on the table in front of their friend or family so they are discussing you like it's just a topic it's just a random topic which is like yeah, this is your privacy this is so disgusting or something like that i don't feel Okay, what's the gossip about you also? I feel like someone's saying that you hiding something that you're working on and they literally want to know. It could be like nosy people, they want to know where you're hiding. It's almost like you have a notebook or you're writing something or you're hiding some kind of work or project. They want to know what you're working on. It's almost like they're just being nosy, they want to know, they're talking about that. I feel like a lot of people saying that you are so rich or you got a lot of money but you're not showing. And some people are talking about how you're so rich and they wish they want to be like your husband or your wife or something like that because you got a lot 
lot of money they feel like you're rich or you can you can't give them a good life so a lot of like could be females or males whatever you're into like in your circle i feel like or your workplace i'm here like workflow it's like could be a workplace but some people that you work with like that some some procedures like in the process of working so sometimes you meet those people sometimes you don't meet those people like could be at a place or workplace that sometimes occasionally you meet those people or you have to work with those people or something like that from another department or occasionally you, they come around they feel like they want to be with you because they feel like you're going to give them some kind of benefit in love you're going to give them some luxury or something like that it's kind of like gold digging or something like that i don't know what else i hear about you i feel like someone's saying that they want to have a baby with you or get you like they want to get you or be married with you because they're thinking about their cars and the fancy thing that they're gonna get or fancy places or something like that i feel like this person got like a very blue eyes or like white skin blue eyes like specific person i'm seeing but like uh, she got a blonde, uh, blonde hair and she tied her hair like up like a blonde it could be short it could be like having bands or shorts it's just like up like that like just like pulling the hair up for some of you very specific hair it could be a man with like that feature like really white or blonde or something like that that's what i'm hearing also what i feel here people saying that you are about to realize something someone here talking about you about you realizing something are you going through some kind of awakening are you about to go through the dark night of the soul are you about to learn something in life someone is really caring about you who just really talking about you like want to whip your fucking ass to teach you a lesson they feel like you're doing something wrong or they try to protect you it's almost like this person is calling you to get out of this fucking mud you're like in the mud and this person trying to talk you out of it or something like that and you're not looking at this person and this person talking to their friend or someone that how about like about you how you're not listening how you're stubborn are you doing a lot of shit are you going through something are you gonna go through something so this person trying to take care of you or doing something but you're not trusting this person for some reason so this person's talking about you like is that i feel what else i'm seeing here who's talking about you who's gossiping about you there's a man who's gossiping about you saying that they take it they took advantage of you or they lied at, uh, lied at you and you didn't understand it you didn't caught them in the lie there's a specific man saying that you didn't caught them in the lie this brand this man could just have a darker skin or black skin a very dark skin than you or black hair or something like that this person saying that you didn't know what they done and they just got away with it or something like that it could be a man or it could be a woman I feel like there's a family member who's talking about getting you back home or mother or grandma or grandfather or someone like that want to get you back home or they want to take care of you or they want to like they're worried about your health they're worried about you they want to see you again or something like that they got something about that also i feel like that and yeah there's a lot but let's just stop number four what's the gossip about you number four remember to like or subscribe people shame on you 16 people here have realized people come on what's wrong with you people they all gossip about you stinky. They feel like you have a stinky armpit or stinky hair or stinky feet or stinky shoes. They gossip about like your smell real bad lately or it smell funky. Maybe you're cooking some food and you're coming to work and you smell like really shitty. Or you smell like food or you smell like shit. Like maybe your apartment smells like shit and you don't understand. Or you don't feel like you smell like shit but you go to work, you go someplace and then you smell like shit. Um, you don't realize because you just sit in your apartment and you think you smell real good. But you go to work and people are like, ew, stink. Something like that. Maybe they smell like food or something. I mean, like, open the windows. Like, get yourself this electric, like, fuser. Put it in, uh, like, you know, candles or something. Like, something about your house smelling. You could smoke a lot of weed. It could be just weed smell or something like that. But some people consider it shitty or something. Weed smell, like, really not good. Like, good. But it's just weed. It's fine. So something about it is stinky. It could have stinky something. I don't feel like a stinky breath, but I feel like stinky because of the place that you live in or something like that. You think that the smell is real good to you or you're familiar to it, but people are not familiar to the smell. It could be also a perfume or something that you use, a heritage scent or something like that. Or it could be like you're a psychic or you're burning something, sage or something. And people are like not liking the smell. So people talking about your stink, something about that. What people saying also, people saying a lot of things about like, they're only saying about your sting, they, they, nobody, like, nobody give a fuck, like, literally nobody gossip about your life or something like that, it's almost like they're not talking, they're not intimidated by you, I'm here in front of spirit, they're not intimidated by you or anything, like, nobody's talking about you this way or gossiping about you, there's nobody at all gossiping about you, like, if you're hoping for a gossip, nobody gossiping, they didn't, your life is heaven, but stink, you know, I'll take the gossip. Like, I don't want people gossiping and saying I'm stinky. 
And now I'm gonna fight with the gossip about, but no offense, maybe just a tiny smell or something. Don't worry about it. Maybe just a small smell. Don't worry about it, number four. But you know, like just put perfume or something. Open the windows. Or don't use that one before you go to, uh, maybe burn that shit like when, before you go to work or something. Do not burn it or just put another smell or shower or something. Number five, what people gossip about it. People gossip about how the fuck did you do this? Like, people are saying, how the fuck did you do it? This is like a literal shit, like, how the fuck did you do that? How the fuck did she do that? How the fuck did he do that? Like, they feel like, how the fuck did you do it? It's almost like something very amazing, very shocking that you could just survive something or you done something and they don't understand how you did it. It's like, they cannot be you, basically. Basically, they cannot be you, number five. People saying, like, how the fuck did you do it? Someone here realized something recently, they've been through something that you've been through, and they realized the pain and the hustle and the shit that you've been through, and you survived before they were not seeing it exactly till they've been through it, and they could not do it. They could not make it through the hustle or something like that. It could be also for some of you, if someone lived abroad, you could live abroad alone, or you lived alone for a while, and this person had to go abroad for a year, or like for a work or study, something like that, and they were like, really, like how the fuck did you do it? Because they couldn't last. And they gossiping about that, like how the fuck did you, did you do it? Something about hustle or life, like they don't understand how did you do it, they're amazed by it. Someone's very jealous of you, they're talking real shit about you because they like you so much, because they feel like you look awesome, you look sexy, you look banging, and they hate that you make them feel insecure, so they talk a shit about you, basic codes. So it could be a man or a woman, doesn't matter. So they talk a shit about you because you look real bang and your eyes look real nice. Your waist look real nice, number five. You look real amazing, number five. What are you doing? What are you exercising, number five? What are you exercising? What are you do? Because you look hot, you look sexy. You look awesome. Something like that. People will be like real jealous of you, real jealous. You have a lot of jealous hoes, let me tell you. People will be like, you look awesome, you look hot or something like that. People are saying like, you don't look, like your body doesn't look like together. in really right shape. Like you could have skinny skin or skinny skin up here. They're looking for some excuses to just be like body shaming you or something because they find you very hot. Then someone say like, whoa, this person is really handsome or really beautiful. And people are like, ew, like look at their neck. The neck is very long compared to the body but they find you very hot they're just looking for something like they're just looking for something to just but they because they just really mad that people are saying really good compliment about you from now that we have the gospel or just trying to make your image look really bad but but they sound really ridiculous and jealous so what gossip also you hear well there's a lot of impression impression here people are copying your impressions like there's people who like like the way you talk uh, your impressions when you talk, your facial things when you do, that when you're not around, they do whatever. It's not like they make fun of you. They could make fun of you a little bit or something, but they talk about it. It's like they find it very weird, like whatever you do or you say, like something about your facial impression or something like that, how you talk or how you do things or how you say things, something like that. I just find it very interesting, I feel. I found it very interesting. I feel like they do find it very interesting, but some of the some of them they make fun of you, but they just laughing because they find it very weird the way you say things or something like that. Also, what the gossip about you number five? I feel like people saying that you're sad about something. Someone here gossiping about how they made you sad or you're sad because they made you sad and they're really sorry about it. They gossiping about how they made a mistake when they hurt you or they made a mistake when they done the thing that they done or something like that. I feel someone gossiping about how you're very smart and you're smarter than their kids or you're smarter than everybody or saying to their kids they're very smart, they're very smarter than their kids and they want they want their kids to be smart like you or something like that. Okay, remember to like and subscribe, people. If you want a personal reading, email me or just purchase my reading on Vim You Bebo. Come on, go purchase the readings there. You're not gonna regret it. Let me tell you. Love you all. Bye-bye.